Hi folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2019 on a 19 plate. A new shape Peugeot Partner Professional. Uh, obviously Euro 6. Um, really, really nice vans, these new Peugeot Partners are. Really surprising little package. We've always done really well with them in the old model. Um, but this new one just seems to have moved it onto another level. Um, really good condition, obviously. This one has uh, come off one of the major lease companies. Uh, it has only covered 5,700 miles from new. Um, Condition-wise, really good condition throughout. Uh, there's nothing really too much to point out to you um, from any sort of derogatory uh, cosmetic side of things. Um, Annoyingly enough, just been valeted and we've had a little bit of a rainstorm that appears to have dropped a load of dust on it. So uh, I do apologise for that, not quite as clean as I would like it to be. However, hopefully that won't um, have any effect on what we're going to show you. Uh, so looking up here on the roof, we all start at the top. Coming down onto the roof, you can see uh, it's not arrived in with any roof bars on it or anything like that. So. You've probably got a better viewpoint of things than I have, but looks all straight and tidy up there to me. Coming down onto your windscreen, uh, no major stone chips in your windscreen. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's really anything in there full stop. And then coming down onto your bonnet, <clears throat> apart from a bit of dust and a, and a couple of bits that have just come off the trees, um, really straight and tidy, no stone chips. Uh, these are just bits of leaves off the trees, pollen, I think we just had a pollen storm, basically. Uh, passenger headlamp unit's all good. Passenger front bumper corner and fog light is good. No scuffs. Coming around to the right front of your front bumper's all good. Grill's all good. Driver's headlamp unit's all good. Driver's side front bumper corner's all good. Front fog light's all good as well. And then if we look down the driver's side of the vehicle hopefully you can see in this video here that there are no major dents or dings in fact there's no dents or dings full stop to point out to you it is a very straight tidy van as you would hopefully expect it to be for the age and the miles coming down <coughs> front wheel a genuine um, Peugeot hubcap fitted to it you've got a Michelin tyre on there as well the tyre itself is in good condition loads of tyre tread depth left on there as you can see no damage to the tyre wall, uh, all good. No damage to the hubcap, all good. Driver's side front wing, again all good. Driver's side mirror unit and the mirror itself, all good. Driver's side uh, door handle, door lock and behind your door lock. There's no excessive scratching or anything behind there. The driver's side door glass is all good. Driver's side front door, all good. <clears throat> now your rubbing strip going down the side of the vehicle and your sill. Hopefully you can see if I get down low, that is all in good order. Driver's side rear quarter, again, all good. Bodywork still got a nice finish to it. Driver's side rear hubcap is all good. Uh, rear wheel or rear tyre is all good. Loads of tyre tread depth on there. Another viewpoint going down the driver's side of the vehicle, as I say. Really straight and tidy vehicle. Driver's side rear bumper corner, no scuffing. The driver's side rear light unit's all good. And then, obviously coming around to the working end of the vehicle, as you can see, uh, reverse parking sensors fitted to it, which are factory. It has had a tow bar fitted to it. Um, similar electric tow bar. I'd like to just to take the cap off, but oh, there we go. I don't think it's done loads of hard work. You've still got a bit of paint still left on there. And then, driver's side, sorry, not driver's side, the rear of the van. Uh, is all good so even though um, as you can see it's rear barn doors on this vehicle uh, we do say that this is the working end of the vehicle 
there were no dents or dings to point out to you. Then opening up the vehicle. So, inside of your rear doors, really clean and tidy. Uh, it's obviously done not a lot of hard work because your paint work on your rear doors, your rear flaps that quite often get damaged, paint work here that will quite often get damaged is all in nice tidy condition. Rear door nuts, you can see original paint work on them just showing you that nothing's been off from bodywork point of view. Top of your rear bumper, yeah, one or two minor marks, but on the whole, it's not done a lot of hard work. And then inside your rear door, passenger side again clean and tidy once again door nuts for your rear doors all good and then inside here so you can see it's been ply lined in the back we have a lot of plastic um, uh, side lining on these vehicles are standard anyway <clears throat> Now the sun is playing up on my video, but hopefully, let's just move my price tag out of the way. You can see you've got your factory rubber floor, which is ply lined on the floor beneath it. So what happens is they arrive from the factory with this rubber floor fitted. Uh, the vehicles then get ply lined, so they take the rubber floor out, and then they then place the rubber floor back down on the ply lining. Which means, if we have a look underneath, your ply lining, great condition, never been touched. Factory bulkhead. It has your openers on it as you can see i've got one of the openers open at the moment and the passenger seat is up but if we drop the passenger seat down that will give you additional load length through to the front of the vehicle and just looking at your roofs and stuff inside you know it's clean and tidy it's not done a lot of hard work has it basically which is what you want to see high level brake light on the back's all good and Rear light unit, passenger side, all good. Rear bumper corner, passenger side's all good. And rear tire, passenger side, hubcaps all good. Tire itself is all good. We have plenty of tire tread depth left on that tire. Uh, in here we have your fuel flap with your add blue filler is in there as well. Upper quarter, this side's good. Lower quarter, this side's all good. Sliding door, obviously, on the passenger side. Again, lovely clean condition. Passenger side front door's all good. Glass, etc. Rubbing strip going down the side of the vehicle's good. Your rear lower sill, as you can see, is all good with no damage. And then passenger side front wing. Again, clean and tidy with no damage on. Passenger side front wheel, hubcaps all good, and tyre itself again. Loads of tyre tread depth left on there as well. Passenger side front bumper corner is good. And there we go. So, I'll show you the loading point on the sliding door. So your loading point, your plastic, entry plastics and seals are all in good condition with no excessive wear or tear. Again, open up the passenger side front door and your door card is in good condition with again no signs of excessive wear or tear and your entry seals and plastics into the front cabin all good the flooring in the front we have taken photos of it I know the sunlight's not helping me here is it but hopefully you can see again no excessive wear or tear Dashboard passenger side clean and tidy, top of your dashboard's clean and tidy. And then seating, let's move our camera out of the way. The seating, the trim, etc., all very clean and tidy. And headlining, etc., all good. There we go. I'll move around to the driver's side. is your bonnet pull. Pull that up there for you. And come out to your bonnet. We have your bonnet release. It's just to the left of your badge. And then have a look underneath your bonnet here. 
your coolant down here is all the correct colour as you would expect. Again, bonnet bolts, you can hopefully see they've not been off, they're not rusty, they've not been off the vehicle. And underneath the bonnet, clean and tidy as you'd expect it to be for a vehicle of this age and miles. second and then driver's door card again plastic this side no signs of abuse entry sills and plastics this side all good flooring on your driver's side apart from our dusty footprints is all good pedal rubbers all there present and correct stop start technology on here as well headlamp level is there and then we have electric windows and electric mirrors with your rear locking switch on there as well. Driver's side seat squab is all good. This one obviously does your height and rake adjustments for your seats. Hopefully you can see the seat covers themselves are all in nice condition. Now you get this cool funky steering wheel with it, um, which as you can see is in nice condition. But uh, quite an unusual steering wheel. Fire it up now. <clears throat> Just does its pre checks. I can see we're having trouble with the camera focusing, but <clears throat> there we go. So 5,779 miles, no warning lights on other than the doors open and the handbrake is on. Um, we have a really nice touchscreen system here. Um, it will give you navigation if you plug your telephone into it um, and yeah parking sensor tire pressure monitor gives you a diagnostic you can hit that and it just tells you your wheel, your wheel or your tire pressures are okay um, this button here is for your stereo system so it's got DAB stereo on it we have a settings menu here photos I don't know do you need to upload photos to your van I'm not sure you do but System settings, you can adjust them all here, and then obviously your telephone side of things here. So, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music, you have Mirror Link and Android Auto. And don't quote me on it, but I think if you plug your Apple CarPlay in as well, your Apple phone in with this lead, it'll give you Apple CarPlay as well. Uh, air conditioning down here. Uh, we have hazard warning lights and door locking buttons are here as well, air conditioning electronic stability program over here uh, five-speed manual gearbox we have an electronic handbrake on these new partners and Blingos. we have on your stalks here auto uh, auto lights uh, including front and rear fog lights and we have your cruise control and speed limiter on this stalk and over on the right hand side we have uh, your wipers and uh, and then your uh, volume and search and telephone answer machine controls etc down here. Um, up on your dashboard, I'll let this refocus. Button on the right hand side stalk will run you through your computer system on here. I've just zeroed it to be fair, so uh, everything's at zero at the moment. But it'll give you your average MPG, your range of fuel etc etc. Um, and I think um, that is about it. Um, we have 70 odd photos that I've just taken online. Um, our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country. Um, and you can contact us on 01905 672 080. Um, or you can email them at the email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Check us out on the internet um, Google, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. etc. all on there. Uh, but basically a really nice, um, high specification small van um, in the new Peugeot Partner setup. Thanks for looking at the video. If I can be of any more help, feel free to give me a shout. Cheers.